Good evening and welcome to the Gran Turismo Touring Car Championship Season 15 and we this is race number 8 and as you can see it's very wet weather so this is going to be quite a fun race to watch we are at the Red Bull track and this is the reverse grid from the previous race so the winner which was um, Buffon is at the back so at the front pole for this race on the right hand side let me just figure out these buttons is Gwyn and he is in the Jag racing for PlayStation I really do like that livery alright just behind in the, oh, the shocking Citroen I'll tell you why in a minute but he's in the Citroen racing for somebody PlayStation. Ah, oh, so we've got the PlayStation boys at the front. And for Citroen, that does get off to a good start, but what will it be like in the rain? That'll be interesting. Right, in third, we have Crony in the Ferrari racing for Infinity Decals. We are Driven Foundation, nice one, mate. In fourth, we have North Irish team racing for Sampson and she's in the Lamborghini and she is really good in the Lamborghini so I'm looking forward to seeing how she does in the wet in fifth we have Nissan Elvis and what will he be in? of course he'll be in Nissan and he is racing for digital car culture in sixth we have Kiwi in the lovely looking McLaren that is beautiful and he is racing for quick fit in seventh we have Martin Bailey racing for monster and yeah he's also he's very good with the Lambo he has been known to be the Michael Schumacher in the wet he's very quick in the wet using that Lambo so he'll be one to watch in 8th is me and yes as you can see I am not using that Citroen anymore I took a sledgehammer to it and it will no longer be featured in this season thankfully but I'm racing for We Are Driven in 9th we've got Piper in the Volkswagen racing for Red Bull and yeah this he is quick in this Volkswagen but in the wet front wheel drive cars are going to struggle and he's the only one on the field so expect him to be at the back by the first corner because front wheel drive cars have a slow start as it is in 10th we have Baggy in the Mazda I've not seen the Mazda this season before so I think it is four wheel drive he is racing for Red Bull see how he does next we have um, Sonic and his Jag is so quick in that Jag so quick he's uh, racing for Samson next we have um, championship leader Buffon in the lovely looking Lamborghini such a nice livery he's driving for We Are Driven and at the back is Bazinga unfortunately he missed the first race so we had to stick him on the back of the grid for the second race but he's racing for digital car culture right so let's get this race going right. let's start at the front with Gwyn oh I haven't got these up oh noob mistake right oh I see the Citroen I said to you didn't I but the foot there, the four wheel drives, they're gonna fly up. Oh, Martin, he's, he's, Martin, he's gone up, he started seventh. That's a cracking start from him. Poo Dog in third, Crony still in fourth. I've gone up three places to fifth. Nissan's still in, he's moved down to sixth. Kiwi's moved down, Buffon's moved straight up to eighth. 
he's had a good start. Oh, I just want to see quickly. Yeah. Oh, these two were at the back of the grid anyway, so. Right, so let's go to the front. Let's use this technique so I don't do your eyes in. And North Irish team, look at her. She's already got a lead. Already got a lead already. Oh no, Martin, what happened there? What happened there? Oh no, and I think Poo Dog's fallen behind as well. So Martin's just, he's, he's late, like, he's underestimated the braking. Yeah, you have to brake earlier than that, mate. So Granny goes into second, I go into third. It's Nissan, no, Nissan, not. Not uh, they're, they're too far away to make the turn, um, overtake. Kiwi's moved up to six. Buffon's working his way through the field like a championship leader does. But oh no, what's happened? Yeah, so oh, what a bad start, bless him. First to eighth the first corner yes not having fun not having a good time but he's just gone a bit wide there well Gwyn old baggy still around about the same position he started in but I think is it four wheel drive I'm not 100% sure something's telling me it is Oh, the Citroen's struggling for grip. I'm so glad I changed. Oh. So Bazinga's, he started right at the back in 13th. So he's, he's done really well. He's up in 8th. We've got the champ, who was on the, the same, well, 12th he started. He's done all right. He's, he's gone into 7th. He's looking for a move on Martin, is he? No. Yeah, he's done it. It's just so, so hard on this track. It's really heavy rain as well, so you, you're literally breaking miles per. You usually break. Yeah, he's breaking about 150 mark. And he's four wheel drive, so he's got the grip around that corner. And Kiwi's going to lose. Oh, he's lost two positions, twelve to the Lambos. Let's go back to the front. How's uh, North Irish team? Yeah, she's she's cracking on. She's got a good lead. Crony's holding on to the second, but he's got two car, three cars, four four wheel drive behind him. Two Lambos and the Nissan. Let's see what happens on this corner. He's gone a bit wide. Yep, yeah, sure he gets the second spot. What about Nissan? Nissan's side by side. I think Crane's got the inside though. But Buffon's gonna be able to go on Nissan soon. I'll stay with these for a little bit. God, look at that. <laughs> oh! This answer's gone a bit wide there and he's, he's still there, isn't he? He's holding on this and he's got that inside as well. Is Crony gonna make a move on Shory? No, he's sure he's closed the door on him. He's still got a bit of that gap from Kiwi, so he's alright for the minute, but it's uh yeah, it's getting a bit bumpy. It's so Oh, Shory went a bit wide there. Can anyone make a move? Buffon, is he going to make it free wide? No, he didn't fit. What's on to Crony? It's gone all invisible. Ah, oh, I didn't see that. He had a... What was that penalty for? Really? That is harsh. Very harsh. <coughs> Doesn't deserve a penalty, but... Got, got rid of it, fair play to him. 
He's only lost two positions from it. Oh, Nissan. Nissan with a nice move on the inside. And that's opened the door for Buffon to follow him. I'm sure he's pushing him. Not giving him much space, but he's going to have to yield. And Buffon's going to go for second here. done guys oh, all this battling he's got Kiwi involved so Kiwi's caught up with them <laughs> North Irish team wow look at that she is flying what time she could yeah she's six seconds in front already six seconds he's got the fastest lap uh, Buffon yeah not even Buffon's got a He's the only other car in the 153s. But yeah, she's running away with it at the moment. Uh, Buffon, Buffon's got the move done on Nissan. What happened here? Oh, Nissan's just got caught out wide there. Easy, that corner's so good. It's downhill as well, it's so deceiving. Well, that's the Buffon. It's going to try and hopefully catch up with North Irish team. But Nissan's in third. I'm in fourth. Crony in fifth in the Ferrari. And Kiwi's in sixth in the McLaren. And I think, yeah, Baggy's caught up. But Baggy wants a part of this battle. We've got Balstanovic. Oh, we've got another nice little battle here. So we've got we've got Balstanovic. We've got Sonic Racer. Is Poo Dog gonna make a move? Nice. No, didn't fancy that. Oh but Balstanovic's gone wide. Is there a gap? No, they've yeah, they've oh he's gone really wide there. Oh he's trying to get back on. He's gonna lose some ground. Plus he's going to have dirty tyres in the wet, which is oh, free wide. What are they doing? You crazy bunch. <laughs> and Piper's drifting around in the front wheel drive. <laughs> oh no, Sonic. What happened, my friend? Stanovic's caught each other but how he went doesn't actually make sense it's like he's got a bit of a slip on the red part of the track maybe I don't know but oh, poor Gwyn poor poor Gwyn he had a bad race at Autopolis and he's not having fun now it's the Jags yeah the, I think it must be the Jaguars just not very good in the wet. Alright, so Bustingas dropped a bit, but there's a battle going on here for seventh. And Bazinga's on the outside. Is he gonna get the move done on Piper? Oh he's holding it. Bolsonavix has gone wide again and Poo Dog. But Pacinda's holding it and he's held it. Nice move. Let's have another angle from that. That was a that was really hard corner this. Downhill in the wet. And he's holding it on the outside. <laughs> nice move, Bazinga. Right. Yeah, you can see Buffon's pulled away. So we've got Shorey in third, Crony in fourth, Kiwi in fifth, and Baggy in sixth. All different cars, we've got the Lamborghini four-wheel drive, we've got the Ferrari, which is mid-rear, I believe. I think it's the same with the McLaren, I think that's mid-rear. And the Mazda, which I'm pretty sure is four-wheel drive, so... What's their times looking at? They, I'm sure, and Crony had were fast in the first sector. 
There's no other lot really in them. Sorry, the cat's just been annoying. Go away! Right. Irish team. She has been caught up. 4.3 seconds. Look at that lap time. How's he getting that? 151.644. You're having a laugh. That is crazy. Absolute crazy. But yeah, she looks behind. She's going to start seeing him. To Lambo, one, two, and three at the moment. Still no change here. Kiwi's got a bit wide there. Baggy looked like he slowed down a bit. I wonder if he just caught Kiwi. Oh, yeah. He's caught Kiwi in the back, but the gentleman that he is just eases off the accelerator. Nice one, Baggy. Is he trying to late break? Third gear in that. Oh, he's just got it wrong. He got it all wrong. He's just going to open the door for Belstanovic. Look at him drifting. <laughs> oh, he's really not having good timing. Not really having a good time at all, really, some of these cars. I think everyone's on wets. I don't think anyone's brave enough to have intermediates. Nah, they're all wet. Okay. So, as we cross the line for the sixth flap, North Irish team is in the lead. In second is Buffon. In third, it looks like he's putting a bit of a gap, is me. Fourth, we have Crony. Fifth, we have Kiwi. Sixth, we have Baggy. In seventh, we have Bazinga. In eighth, we have Piper. Ninth, Balstonic. Tenth, Poo Dog. Sonic Racer in eleventh, and Green in. Oh! Green in twelfth, but we're missing the racer. Where? Missing this down Elvis. Ah oh, yes, yes. Unfortunately, I think it was lap two or three, this and Elvis lost connection. Got him for him, really was, because he was looking forward to this track. And this had being four wheel drive. Yeah, I remember now. Oh got it for you in this and oh, that was that was going. If I remember correctly, Bal Stanovic it happens to Bal Stanovic as well. Was that a different race? I know, I'm sure two people got. Yeah, two people got lost connection for this race. Alright, so it's 3.6 now. Every sector, Buffon is faster, so he is closing that gap down. Let's see what they get. So she gets a 152.5. Oh, 151, 108 is on fire. And that looks like the fastest. Yeah, nearly, yeah, fastest lap of the race so far. Yep. Yeah. Right, Shory, 153.001. So he's pulled away a bit more from Crony. Kiwi, he caught up to Crony that lap, and Baggy caught up to him, so even though these got cars, God, that's a nice view, that's a nice interior, let's stick on board with him for a bit, but yeah, even though the gaps, there is a bit of a gap compared to a few laps ago, the back 
Baggy and um, Kiwi are catching these up. But yeah, well done to the MR boys. Showing the four wheel drives how it's done. Right, so. Oh no! <laughs> So he's lost two positions, he's not liking that corner. Is he? He's not liking that corner at all. I want to put Spazingrin back into seventh. Oh, he's nice. No, dirty tyres. Would have been a very tough to go around the outside on that corner, mate. <coughs> and Boo Dog capitalise. Sonic. I think he's gone off for 159. He's not having a good time there. Neither's Grin. He's been consistent the last three laps, but now I don't think the Jags doing well on here. Oh jeez. He's gone he's done it. 150 jeez, he's taken nearly Two seconds out of her, and she's gone a bit wide there. I suppose not much tire wear. He's got a little bit, but yeah, he's got the overtake done. I'm going to go back to Baggy and Kiwi in a minute because they're looking like they're quite close together. Is she going to fancy a late braking? No, I think I think she's just going to stay behind him for a minute. A bigger muff gap. Let's see how much of a gap there is. 13 seconds between second and third. Alright, so we want to go to Baggy. Oh, Baggy. Oh. Alright, so he's got any slip strings right behind him. Oh, oh I see what he's done. Oh, I see. He's proper gentleman racer baggy he moved out the way so he didn't hit Kiwi which let's be fair most people should do and he just didn't want to hit him on the corner so he's he's cost himself uh, it's not updated yet but I'm gonna say it's about probably a second and a half so Crony 153.4 So he's caught up hot grounds on Shorey Yeah, he definitely caught up now What's inside the Ferrari look like? Oh, Shorey closes that gap uh, Yeah, that's the thing, I think When you're trying to overtake a four-wheel drive car in the rain and you're not four-wheel drive you're not going to get a better exit than them, so he's... Oh. <laughs> so you kind of want to do a late break. Force them wide to get the overtake done, because look, Lambo just pulls away. Oh, we got a battle here. So Balstonovic has caught up with Piper again. Get off that stuff. It's a drag race. And he's done it. Can he hold it on this corner? Oh, he's... It's gone wide again. Not a good corner to go wide on, mate. But yeah, sorry if I'm being biased, but it just looks like the battle, this is mainly the battle. And Baggy... I think it's the same sort of gap. No, there's not... <coughs> not a lot going on at the moment. Oh, Piper's overtaken him again. Let's have a look. Oh, Martin. <laughs> You're having a bad time, aren't you? <laughs> right. What can Martin do on this corner? 
as it gets wider. Oh, he's needs brake earlier there. Oh, well held, but you're still drifting. <laughs> He's gone off again. Right, so how did he get that one? 50.9. So Buffon's already got a four and a half second lead on Mary. So unless he does something silly, he's got the pace to win this race. The moment, yeah, apart from a blip, Mary's been very consistent in the 152s. As long as she doesn't make a mistake, I can't see these guys catching her. Oh, sure, he's got a penalty. What's that for? Oh, okay, it's a while back. He's got rid of it. But is that going to allow Crony back in? Now this is probably... Yeah, this is going to be the closest battle. I think Piper might be catching Bazinga up. So I'll keep an eye on it. Oh, Kiwi and Baggy both a bit wide there, but... I mean, yeah, Baggy must be in his slipstream now. What's the inside of the car like this one? Oh, look at you! It's got a tablet on the front to see your uh, your back camera. It's quite high tech for a Mazda. It looks like, doesn't it? But it's gone. Oh, he got a really good run out there. Really nice call now, he's caught right on the back of Kiwi. Now, it's going to make these, uh, this grip count. So, Seth needs to set himself up for this first corner. Oh, what was that for? What was that for? Oh, behave, GT. That was a really soft penalty. Well, so that's bugger these hard work up. So he's just got to slowly lose that penalty. And hopefully, won't be too far away from Kiwi. Kiwi's been quite consistent there. But yeah, it's starting to turn out a bit of a boring race, guys. Because sure is pulled away from Crony. <coughs> oh, what's happened to Mary? Has she made a mistake? Yes, yeah, she has. A 155. So she's lost three seconds. But yeah, the gap still. Seven seconds, so. Just look at, yeah, she's done something in sector 2, the last race, to get a 52 seconds. So she's lost a lot of ground. Hopefully that won't affect her for the rest of the race. Right, let's see how Baggy's getting on. He's lost his penalty. And he is right there. He is right there. when is he going to make the move he's probably got the grip to do the late braking but it's all about confidence in the wet might just want to size him up for these two corners and just use the four wheel drive system out this corner oh really <laughs> Baggy, no, what's? Ah, oh, that's so harsh. The same, same from last time, wasn't it? 
So he's got to try and get rid of that one now. I'm wondering... I think Crony's pulling away from him as well, so... What's the gap between second and third? I can't remember what it was last lap. She got the 155. Another 155, so Mary's really struggling now. She's not really got that much tyre wear. A fatigue, maybe? Because she's really consistent with 152, but for three laps she's doing 155, so. What lap was it? This. So it's sector two. So she's just done sector two. Alright, so she's done the right that lap. I have to keep an eye on that. But uh, she's still, yeah, she's still six seconds, was it? Yeah, six and a half seconds. But the baggy's got the move done. Yeah, look at that. Start here, so he's hugged the inside. Already catching him up. Yeah, he's just eased off a bit more to get... And put the accelerator down on there. Nice overtake. Can he hold it, though? Yeah, Kiwi didn't fancy... Is he going to get another penalty? This is the question. Oh, he's gone wide there. And that means Kiwi gets back into fifth. <laughs> A second penalty. Yeah, I suppose, but still, second. He didn't gain anything. But yeah, second penalty for that. Ouch. <laughs> right. Seventh, we got Bazinga. It's not. 154 is very consistent. I don't think it's enough to catch Baggy or Kiwi. But it's enough to keep him ahead and pull away from. Piper. They must be struggling in that forward, four-wheel drive one. But yeah, and we got Poo Dog and Sonic Racer. Ah, uh, yes. Just noticed there's 11 drivers now, so yeah. Bow Stanovic lost connection as well, which I was really gutted for him in this end. Both good in the wet, both had four-wheel drive cars. Oh, Sonic! <laughs> Sonic. Yeah, it just... it broke. Too late. Too much momentum. And then you've got all this... that slippery service. Yeah, he's... It's gonna give the opportunity for Gwyn. To catch him up, though. Gwyn, yeah, he's, he's pretty consistent in the 155s. So back to the back to the leader Buffon. Oh. <laughs> He's just smashing his lap times. And uh, look at the gap now, it's twenty seconds nearly. And North Irish team aren't slow. But twenty seconds in front. Absolute crazy. But unfortunately this is the last race Buffon is racing in Pro 2 because after this race he was asked if he wanted to go up so he has moved up to Pro 1. But yeah, he's, you can see he's, he's way too quick. Oh, Mark's North Irish team. 
Is she still about six seconds? Yeah, six seconds in front of Shory. He slowed down a little bit compared to the 152s he was doing. Crony caught up a second on him last lap. So it's going to be a final push from Crony. Yep, so Baggy's got the position, uh, the overtake done on Kiwi. He's lost that second penalty. Now well, he's got Crony on his targets, but. Yeah, 5.6 seconds, that's... Oh, yeah, it's three laps left. Possibly four. Um, yeah, we have to go a lot faster. 151s, possibly. But yeah, Kiwi looks pretty safe in... Sixth, can't see... Yeah, it's not good, I can't see Brzinga catching. Brzinga had a bad lap, 157 last lap. So let's let Piper catch him up in a bit, but... So seven seconds, is it? Here we go. Five seconds. Yeah, these just... I can't see these back lot. Don't need more overtakes, really. But yeah, Gwyn's really bad week four for him he's getting he's getting quicker yeah yeah it's a booth on I was just about to say oh he's a bit slow that lap 151 but no one else is getting 151s <laughs> but yeah second third fourth fifth and sixth so there's just look at the gaps Really, much going on. It's inside the guy. Right. So let's go on board with Buffon. Let's do a lap with him on board. So let's go to the last bend. Let's just name the corners differently, shall we? All right. So yeah, he's accelerating onto the straight. It's going to cross the line for lap 16. And he's heading for Bob's Bend, which is this bend here. Bob's Bend, you like that? <laughs> um, nice track, yes, but in the wet, it's just crazy. Alright, so next we're going to go for. Terrible. I should really. What I do next race is I'll think of names for the corners, and we just make up corner names. <laughs> Bit of a laugh. It looks like Crony is cool. Just might have been that corner actually. It looked like Crony has caught him up. Baggy. Yeah, Crony's three seconds behind. On the yeah, sure, no, I'm sure he just had a really good lap. So he's pulled away again. I don't. Is Piper catching him up? Piper is catching him up. Two and a half seconds quicker last lap. Oh, Bazinga's. Yeah, his last three laps. He's letting Piper catch up. But all this could be this is actually going to be Well your both on is it gonna be the last lap or will he have to do it again? God that's gone quick. Right, so Buffon comes to the start finish line. Yeah, he's gonna have to do another lap, isn't he? Yeah. But yeah, he's he's won the race. Well done Buffon. Right, so we've got North Irish team. Let's wait for it to say final lap. It should say it by now. Is she going to have to do another lap? Yeah, 
Yeah, she's gonna have to do another lap. Oh, look, I, thankfully I didn't have to. So I come over, oh no, North, she didn't have to. So she's finished second. I've come across the line in third. Crony in fourth, a really good result for him. <laughs> Baggy in fifth. Kiwi in sixth. Yeah, Bazinga's gonna, he had that blip last three laps, but he did enough to hold on to seventh. That was a good result for him. As he said, he started at the back. Well done, Bazinga. Next we have Piper, he's done really well with that front wheel drive. Well done. And Sonic Racers moved up to ninth. Oh yeah, he's not enjoyed this one, has he? Well done, Sonic. Coming home in ninth. Poo Dog in the Citroen coming home in tenth. And Grin in eleventh. Unlucky Glyn. Green, uh, Green, sorry. Yep, so let's just watch the champ. Cross the line in first. It's a bit faultless, really. Faultless. Well done, mate. Alright, see you later, guys. Bye bye.